What's up, Bearcat Nation? This is uh, Jordan. Um, I just wanted to talk about uh, today's game against CCF. It was a good game, 56-21, to and we did. Um, have, we had some good plays. I'm talking about like Jerome Ford, uh, Alec Pierce, wide receiver, Desmond Ritter, quarterback, uh, Trey Tucker, you know, as um, – so, yeah, we had some good we had some good plays today, and what I really want to talk about is our chances of getting to the college football playoffs. All I'm saying is, yes, we did beat these teams. We beat Miami, Murray State, Indiana, Notre Dame back to back. Then we beat Temple, and then we just beat UCF. That's a good thing, but there's still more work to be done. There's still a whole lot more work to be done. Even though some people don't think that Cincinnati has the ability, people don't think we have the chance. We have the chance. We have the chance. We have the ability to fight to the finish, never give in, and still be able to make it to the playoffs. That's all, all I want to say is, like, we have that NFL mentality. We just have it. We just have that NFL mentality. Like, we we go out there, and we just, you know, just do it the way we do it. Not what people expect us to do it, but just do it the way we do it. We have a good, we have a good defense. We have a good quarterback. We have a good coach. We have a, practically all those things are good. Not even good, great. All those things are great. I, I, I'm pretty shocked myself. I mean, like, that Peach Bowl game that we had against uh, Georgia in 2020, I'll tell you what that was. That was a wake-up call to get stronger. That was a wake-up call to get stronger and better so that way... When the next season came, when this season came, we were ready. We were ready for that opportunity. Like I, like I said before, Miami and Murray State, those were warm-up games. Then we had Indiana and uh, Notre Dame. Those were like the back-to-back -back battle games that people thought we weren't going to win, but we ended up winning both of them. Then we had Temple, which was a blowout, 52-3. And then we had... Today, um, UCF, there's still more work that needs to be done. Still more work that needs to be done. Because we got, I believe, I believe we have Navy coming up. We have Tulane, so we have two away games coming up. Then we have the homecoming game against Tulsa. And I think, believe, I do believe we play, uh... I think we play SMU. SMU after that. And then we play ECU. So I think we've we're we're six and zero right now. There is still a little bit of more work. Like I'm I I said it once, I guess I'm probably just gonna keep saying it throughout this video. There's still more work that needs to be done. Now, let's talk about Desmond Ritter. Good quarterback, good father, and he's just you know just doing what he can to support him, him, his family, his teammates, his city, and you know just him. He's doing what he can, cause I think he will be. The first round, he will be a first round pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. Don't know which team it might be, but I know he would probably most likely be a first round pick. Now, people are still doubting him about winning Heisman. I don't know what's up with that, but like, yeah, if he wants to win Heisman... There is a cup 
football things he needs to do if he if he ever wants to win Heisman. If he wants to win Heisman, he's got to like you know maybe just not not maybe like not a whole bunch, maybe just a just a tiny bit. If he just boosted up, maybe just a tiny bit, just like right here. If he did that, then maybe people would start like saying saying stuff like. Um, oh, look at that. That's a good play. That's the quarterback. That's the, that's the quarterback we need. That's the quarterback we want to win Heisman. And then, like, thing is, when he leaves, everybody's expecting, um, his, his backup, uh, Aaron Prater, People are expecting uh, big things from him once uh, Des leaves to the pros. If he goes pro, which I think, which I think he will, but like people are like expecting more from him because people are thinking that he is probably going to be like the next Desmond Ritter. But honestly, all I know is that this season. Is the Bearcats football? Is the Bearcats year? This is their year. It wasn't their. It wasn't their year last year because of the Peach Bowl game. Well, we are not going to even talk about the Peach Bowl game. This is our year. This is our city. This is our team. This is who we are. We are the Bearcats. So, I want to thank you so much for watching. Please sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that post notification below so you get notified each time I post. Until next time, go red, go black, go Bearcats.